Hi and welcome to uh, this video which is going to show you how to set up a Facebook Pamper Chef, Pamper Chef party on Facebook. And so um, you want to have several tabs open. First thing you want to have your Facebook open obviously. You're going to want to have Consultants Corner open and also what, wherever you keep your welcome announcement whether it's in Google Docs, you know, Word or I have mine in Google Calendar. So first thing now on Facebook you're on your personal timeline and you go on wanting to go to your business page so click on pages or I have mine pinned here under shortcuts the pages and the reason you always want to run your pamper chef parties through your business page pamper chef uh, it's a best practice from pamper chef and also from Facebook um, we want to be not, uh, we want to be do everything to please Facebook <laughs> okay so once you're on your business page you click on groups, you click on create linked group, and then you're you're at your screen, at your party a page screen, or your group screen. So I'm going to name my party and I'm going to use an emoji and a heart and write the name of the party. James uh, share the love oops, the love pampered chef party. Oops. Okay, so there, and then I want to choose the privacy, and I always want it private. You don't want everything going on your personal feed just in the party. And uh, this always stays visible. You want your group to be visible. So if somebody wants to search it, search for it. So there we go, create. All right, now... Um, you're at your page. I want to go down to group settings. And first thing I do is go there. There's the name of the party, but I also put the ordering link here. So I put a little uh, shopping cart emoji. I go to the consultant's corner and to Jane's party and click the link to shop. If you click the Shop Now link, you'll be taken to a screen that looks like your uh, your um, personal website shop. That's exactly what it is. And I like the party page. It actually lists the host's name there. So I'm going to use that one. Copy and go back here. And I always write Browse and Shop, ship shop here. And then I put the paste the link and save. I also add a group color because if you're on your phone you will see this color so it's February I'm doing pink save all right um, and one more thing here apps I use since share so let's scroll down and add search for Cinch, and that's all I have to put in. Cinch share will be there, and you can do post by party or whatever app you use. If you use Facebook Scheduler, you don't need to do that. Okay, um, that is it there. So now I'm going to click the home button, the home within the party, not your home, um, to go back to your newsfeed. So home within the party, and I go top to bottom. So here I want to add a, uh, a banner or a cover photo. Upload the photo. I have my group covers already open here and down to here. All right, you can drag this a little bit. There's just a little bit of the play in there, but I want to save the changes. Something else I do, you see how it says here, click here for the ordering link. I So I click the picture and in this area I write and click on edit, put my little shopping emoji, a shopping cart emoji again, and paste the link. And I'm done editing there. If you, I also change my cover photo at least once, maybe twice within the week of the party, and um, this will disappear. So you have to put this ordering, uh, you have to put that back every time. Okay, so. Done that down down there, and now the next thing I do 
is this is my little icon for my business page. So I want to invite my personal profile to the party. My dogs are helping uh, teach here. All right. Now it says I've been invited. So I go back here and I switch to my personal profile. I join the group. One other thing while I'm on my personal profile, I click joined and manage notifications and change to all posts. Um, you want your guests to do this as well, of course, and I put that's in my welcome announcement, which is just coming next. Okay, so I switch back to my business profile, a little bit of back and forth there. And so the next thing I'm going to do is to add a post. And so um, this is my welcome post. I have mine in Google um, Calendar. And so let's see, I have a couple different ones. And I, I don't have one for shared rewards, but I just tweak, tweak it, you know, and make it that way. Oops. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to copy, copy it from here and go back to the party and paste it right in here. All right, so what I do here, in the beginning I do some editing here. I, I italicize that. Um, the hosts, I change it to the host's name. James, okay. And then um, go back and copy that link again and paste it. I'm going to go on to the next line. Paste it here, but now I bold this. I don't want it to stand out to them. Okay, welcome to Jane. Whoops, Jane. Facebook party. And I want to add an emoji there because it's a party. All right, there we go. And then, um, where I go back up this, and then I want to italicize that and uh, my name is uh, not have to go anywhere okay here's how extra space in there italicize click tap the word okay so the party officially starts actually Monday and I think when did I say actually this one well This is actually a March party, but I'm starting on Monday. In, in Consultant's Corner, I have the date starting on Tuesday, March 1st. But my, my party will start on Monday. So this will be a... If you're confused about that, we can explain further. The last day to order will be March... What is that date? Oops. Sorry. March 5th for me. Okay, so I bold, um, I also bold this. I want, them, I want them to see that. Okay. And then I just, um, okay, I'm finished. So I'm going to post that. Next thing you want to do is you want to mark this as an announcement or a featured post, depending on what, what, what Facebook wants to call it. This time, you know, today. <laughs> All right, so here we go. And it's not there. I have to click See All and Pin to Featured. And it's you've pinned the post to Featured. So there you go. So it's going to be at the top all the time. When people join the party, they're going to see that information post. Um, so. All right, so then um, that is that for the for the Facebook party on Facebook. But what I also do is go back to my home screen, and then I go to oh, there we go groups here. I'm going to edit the groups. I'm going to go down to pins. I'm going to add. I'm going to pin her party. And then it's been successfully pinned. So when I go back, so when I heat when I'm here, um, it will be one of the pin 
shortcuts and I can just click on it. As I go to it, you know, this one's a current party. As I go to it, it'll move up in the, in the queue there. All right. So thank you for uh, watching this and I hope you have a great party. Bye.